I recently stumbled across the trailer for Nights in Tefia and I wanted to unpack it for you. Nights in Tefia is a drama series out of Spain set during the 1960s in a forced labor camp for gays, political dissidents, and vagrants on Fuerteventura, which is part of the Canary Islands. 300 labor camps were created during the Francisco Franco dictatorship. The government would send gays to the camp under the law of vagrants and crooks between 1954 to 1966. The main character, Iram, who is now older, lives in Tenerife in 2004. He recognizes a guard who tortured him from the camp walking down the street in his neighborhood. His presence awakens repressed memories of when he was in his 20s falling in love with the rebellious inmate. Iram, who now has a family, is forced to confront his past. The series shows the horrors of the camp, but also how the prisoners survived emotionally through what Russian poet Anna Akhmatova wrote was the only form of resistance to Stalin, imagination. The time at the camp was made bearable by stories told by Serialis, a theater director and storyteller. The stories are set in a fantastical background of the Tendaya, the most famous music hall in the capital. What really works in Tefia is the juxtaposition of color and lack thereof. The camp is presented in black and white and its harsh brutality behind fences against an even harsher desert landscape. Scenes from Tendaya are presented in a dark 60s technicolor vibe. The present day is shot through a modern lens, creating separate worlds that are tight and easy to differentiate. Tendaya is high camp and a space for freedom when their freedom was taken from them. The use of separate narrative tales is similar to Pan's Labyrinth and equally as delightful. The first two episodes premiered at the Malaga Film Festival and the film has been nominated for four awards at the 25th Iritz Awards, including Best Actor in Screenplay. Miguel de Arco created, co-wrote, and co-directed the series. He is a playwright and considered to be one of the most influential voices in theater in Spain right now. Marcos Ruiz stars as the young Iram. He recently starred in The Laws of the Border, while Jorge Perugaria plays the older Iram. Patrick Criado, who has a standout performance, plays La Vespa. He is most known for Mar di Plastico, in which he was nominated for Best Supporting Actor in a Series at the Feroz Awards. Horacio Colome stars as Carlos. He is most known for Los Ricos Tambien Yoran. I meant yo. <laughs> I meant Yoran. If you have guessed it already, I do not speak Spanish. I am sorry if I am butchering it. He also played in Sinos Dejan. The series has six episodes and each episode is an hour. It is produced by Buendia Estudios and Atres Media. Buendia Estudios produced The Boarding School Las Cumbres, El Huego de las Lleves, and Veneno. Atres Media produces Drag Race España, Up Next, and Verdades Secretas. Secretus, Secretus, which I highlighted in my last video. The show was released on June 25th on the Atres Player streaming service. However, you can watch it via YouTube or Amazon Prime on the Atres Media subscription. Atres Media is the most popular streaming service in Spain and has a lot of LGBT content. It is available in Spain, the US, and across several Latin American countries. Will you watch Las Noches de Tefia or Nights in Tefia or Pass on It? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please follow me on Instagram at writervicyates for more about my art and literary projects. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and become a member if you can and like and share this video. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, have a lovely day. Besos, 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 mwah.